All right, welcome back, guys. Um, today I'm going to do a video on patterns, uh, pattern fills for like uh, your Glock grips or any kind of grips you're doing, or particularly any template you're trying to do a pattern fill on. Uh, with this pattern fill, it's going to be two layers. We're going to have a, um, an actual repeating pattern, and then we're going to put like a little emblem here. Um, probably a little cliche. I'm going to use the uh, Punisher skull, but is what it is so first I'm going to draw my outline real quick um, same as the first video I showed you guys how to draw an outline in uh, we're going to make this one kind of simple just for the sake of quickness in the video start with my little rectangle it's the easiest way to go and I'm not going to um, exclude this portion here just for the video I'm gonna uh, leave it there just to make a simple outline like I said before what I normally do is put these uh, anchors where the curves are at their greatest and then I just pull them in from there um, I'll add one here too I'll go ahead and add two of them I just pull it back Good ways past it. Go ahead and curve this one in a little. See if it'll go. Not enough. Have to pull it in a little more. It's kind of trial and error here. Pretty good, good enough for this. So there we go, we got a basic outline. It's not a uh, perfect, but I would probably spend more time on it if I were actually doing this for someone's firearm. So once you get your outline done, you just delete your picture that you traced over. Um, another note I might say is I usually do one point weight here uh, for the stroke weight and then these little guys here normally all on the left and I know it makes a difference um, as to what you're doing with the design like sometimes you may want the stroke to be aligned right here on the outside instead of in the center but I haven't figured all that out yet so uh, for the sake of this I know this works so I already have some uh, star patterns that I'd made up um, if you don't know how to make a pattern there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to make a repeating pattern uh, with Adobe Illustrator so what I do is I just kind of pull my stars out and I size them up to where I want them Here, let's uh, size them proportionally hold shift while you expand them like that so that's that's pretty good I would actually go a little smaller and then I'll drag them over here to my swatch panel and then we can get that out of there select your little guy here you want to make sure that your stroke is black and then you want to click on this box back here that's your fill box it can be crossed out if you want it to be it doesn't really matter um, but you want it to be on top of the stroke because when you click on your swatch panel it's going to fill up whatever is on top right here so now you have stars in the box so good to go right well let's check outline mode nope easy cad will not see that design so you have to go through this process um, and I think frag out designs showed this process this is where I learned it you select your whole template go to object expand whatever's checked here just leave it okay go over to your pathfinder box select merge double click hit Y for your magic wand select something that's black you're gonna want black in the box over here Go to select, inverse, hit your delete key, 
come over here get your regular selection tool double click somewhere to get out of layers select your whole outline and everything again and then come over here to Pathfinder and select unite now when you go to outline mode that'll be what your laser software sees so now we have that now say the customer wants a Punisher skull somewhere on the handle so to do this I've already got a Punisher skull I downloaded and vectorized we'll copy it bring it over here and paste it you can see how it's filled in with color I don't really want it to be that way it's easier to work with it's just got a black stroke and no fill so there we go so now I usually take the the symbol or uh, design put it over my template put it where I want it kinda get it sized up <coughs> that looks like it'll be pretty good once I get it sized up and drag it back out I do not change the size of it go up here to object compound path and release what that does is it gives me the ability to select just this outline here once you've selected only the outline come back up to object go to path offset path you can do it by like 0.5 millimeters would be good once you do that you'll notice you have an extra line here you can select that line drag it out these little extra guys in here I'm gonna get rid of that all it needs to be is an outline okay so now you see you have this which is slightly larger than your design so now you want to go ahead and make that a compound path again by selecting it Go to compound path and make. Now you take your outline, get it sized up where you want it, not sized up but situated. Um, that looks good. You select this whole design here, select unite, and that blanks out that area right there. Now you can take your skull and position him in here and line him up. Just line them up with that outline. That looks good enough. Once you've done with that, select your whole pattern again your whole design and you go over here to your pathfinder click exclude now when you go into outline mode you see you have your pattern and you have your little design here in the center with no stars in the background so that'll make it stand out and look real nice and clean and that's pretty much it that works for frames and uh, slides and whatever else you're doing um, like I said these patterns up here these star patterns um, I made them myself and there's plenty of YouTube videos out there for that uh, you can just search how to make a repeating seamless pattern with Adobe Illustrator and you should find plenty of help on that but uh, thank you guys again for watching these videos and I hope you've learned something from it thanks <laughs>